it's awesome to see you, Stotty. It's been uh, a tumultuous time. We haven't been able to get in contact or see with you since you left for the English uh, Forsal League. Um, it's so great to have you back in Melbourne and congratulations on signing uh, back with Melbourne City for this W League. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be back. Um, I just can't wait for training to get started so I can get in amongst it all. I know, it's going to be great. Um, how are you doing? Like, are you mentally, physically, how, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, it's obviously been a really hard time for me. Um, a lot of things I've been through are pretty crazy and um, I don't know, I feel mentally I'm doing all right now. Um, physically, I'm doing a lot better than I was. Um, I'm still getting hot flushes. As you can probably see, my face is going really red right now. Um but no, I'm I'm getting there. I'm feeling a lot better, and physically each day I'm feeling a lot better. And and you know you've been keeping us updated to through all the tough times, and and you've been really open and really vulnerable. And I know a lot of people wouldn't know what it's like to go through such uh, you know a hard and challenging time. Like who helped you? Or what helped you to get through those really difficult times? Um, I think it's just all the support I've had from everyone, the football community, my family, my friends, um, it's just been incredible to see how many people are just willing to help you. I think also reaching out to people like Jem Beatty, um, Joey Lynch, and people who have kind of been through a very similar thing. Um, they just kind of give you tips and just kind of little pointers which really helped me um, get through some of the tougher times and obviously my, my close friends. That's fantastic. And I know when you did The the Greatest Shave, uh, so many of your favourite people were in the room with you and it was such an am- amazing, like, journey. How did, how did it all start? Like, I mean beat it by Stoddy, all these things have come from such a such a t- like challenging time. I, I want you to just tell us what you're doing and how it came about and, and what gave you the idea to, to do what you've done. Um, yeah, I mean my mentality with pretty much any, anything is to try and find positives in whatever you're doing. So, yeah, I got um, – a pretty bad situation but I've managed to turn it into something positive and um, originally I was trying to like research what was about to happen to me and what it was going to be like going through chemo and stuff and there's a little bit out there but not in a lot of detail so I was really from the start I wanted to share my my journey and try and um, show other people what it is like to go through cancer Um, and then in my early days of treatment and um, appointments and everything, I was so overwhelmed and unorganized and stuff. Like I had a little tote bag taking it to appointments and I was just so unorganized. So I was like, I need a cancer bag. Um, So I've actually designed a cancer bag um, that I'm going to fill with my beanie, a drink bottle, um, a heat pack, skincare products, cleaning products, just things that I found really necessary and helped me a lot. I'll also put in there like tips and tricks on my experience and how to help yourself get through it. Um, And then these bags will be given to patients who have just been diagnosed through Canteen Australia. Um, So, yeah, I want that to to help as many young young adults as, as possible. That's really inspiring, man. Like um, make sure you tell us how we can donate or if companies want to get on board, you tell us exactly um, how they can do that, especially since you're you're packing those bags full of goodies. Yeah, Um, yeah. If any companies have any ideas on what to to give, that would be amazing. So how can they get in contact with you? Oh, 100%. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get businesses on board to supply some things to put in the bag. So if anyone is out there willing to uh, give some stuff, just info at beatitbystoddy.com. 
or just go onto the website, beatitbystoddy.com, and, yeah, my emails are on there and everything, and that would be amazing if people want to support me. Great. And um, how has the club supported you, Melbourne City? Uh, how has the club yeah. supported you? Yeah, they've been great. Um, I think my first appointment here in Australia last June um, related to this um, was through Dr. Nick in Melbourne City. So he's really been with me the whole journey. He set me up with Peter Mack, um, the cancer centre. Um, and so he's been involved for the whole time. Um, and now I'm just trying to get back into it and I'm reaching out to City to, to get my SNC sorted, physio sorted, and all that sorted. So they've been great. And I can't wait to really get back into training. And yeah. Yeah, I, we, we all want to know. Listen, I want to tell everyone a secret. That Stoddy, every chance she gets, she wants to throw on a pair of gloves and get in goals. And she's probably the only field player that actually takes goalkeeping seriously and has a, a real fondness for us in the goalkeeper union. First yeah. of all, tell me what it was like to jump on the field for your first MPL match and then more importantly, your full game in goals. <laughs> okay um first 10 minutes of MPL um getting back on the field I wasn't expecting anything and um it was actually really emotional and it caught me off guard I was kind of like well this was incredible like it really kind of gave me the passion back and inspired me to really work really hard to get back out there um so that was a really cool feeling um and then yeah I mean it's always been my dream to play goalkeeper like <laughs> any chance I will jump in at training and be like, yeah, I'm goalkeeper. Um, but I've actually, I actually hated it. Like I really <laughs> never, ever want to play goalkeeper again. I was cold. <laughs> it was, it was not enjoyable. So I'm glad I've done it, but I don't think I'll ever want to do it again. It's like something off your bucket list and you're like, it yeah, is. that was crap. <laughs> it really was. I hated it. <laughs> now, 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 you can you can you just kind of like give us a bit of a a head nod every now and then, like good on you guys, but no thanks. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I will. I mean, I've always appreciated goalkeepers. I know how hard it can be sometimes. It's very different positions. So, <laughs> kudos to you guys. <laughs> Well, it was great to see you out there again. I definitely had um, – I was sitting at home watching the stream live and I'm like, this is amazing. I love it. It was like a dream yeah. come through for me because I've seen you so many times steal my gloves. Yeah, it was, um, it was an experience for sure. Oh, that's fantastic. And, you know, credit to Bulleen uh, FC for giving you uh, a chance to, to go in goals. Um, yeah. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to about getting back to the club? Like – um, it's going to be a little bit different this year. We're moving. What, what's what's your, what's your most, um, you know, looking forward to moment? I think just being back in a team environment. I've really missed that. Um, obviously, I haven't been in a team environment since really early this year. Um, and so I think just being around the girls and being in a professional environment, training, set up, um, yeah, I'm just so excited to get back into it. That's fantastic. And um, how has all the love and support from the fans and football community as a whole been today since you announced you were coming back? Oh, it's incredible. Um, I saw myself on the news. I was like, oh, I'm so <laughs> famous. <laughs> but, um, no, it was really cool. And I've had so many comments, messages and tweets. Um, it's just been incredible, the support. Um, it's nice to see, like, women's football has come such a long way and, everyone's really getting behind us oh that's fantastic it's great to see like caught you off guard to be on the news that's so <laughs> humble of you thought you're, you're so i love you you're the best um <laughs> it's a pretty different squad um it's going to be a different squad to when you last played for us um what are you going to bring uh, you know, we all know you, Stoddy, but what, what what can the public who don't know you, what are you going to bring to the group for 2021? Um, I'm definitely going to bring some humour. Um, what else? Hopefully I can bring a little bit of leadership and a bit of seriousness into that. Um, but 
no, I, I'm aware that it's going to be a lot different to uh, when I was playing there, but um, I can't wait to to get started and, and really um, help some of the young ones grow. I love to kind of take them under my wing, so I hope I can help, um, yeah, just help out the young ones. I love that. And um, the oldies too. Don't forget about the oldies. The oldies <laughs> always need a bit of You're a really good. arm around the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want. <laughs> I, I know you won't take me seriously, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, is there a message that you want to send um, to our city family or the city group? What What would you like to send out to the, to the club, the family, um, as we know it? Um, thank you so much for all the support so far, following us all along the journey. Um, I can't wait to hopefully have fans back in the stadiums soon. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your support. Awesome. Thanks, Dottie. Uh, we yeah, love no you so much. Can't wait to see you and, um, you know, rub shoulders in the flesh, I guess. Can't wait either. <laughs>